We're inside the last 17 minutes of the Sportsmax Zone for this Friday. We are ready now for an update on the West Indies four-day championship. The Guyana Harpy Eagles will now have to sit and wait for the outcomes of the other matches to see if they can retain their title after claiming victory on day three of the final round against the combined campuses and colleges. The Guyana franchise completed a comprehensive eight-wicket win over the Maroons reaching 182 for two in 34.5 overs, led by an unbeaten 79 from Raymond Perez and 50 from their captain, Tevin Imlach. Early in the match, the Harpy Eagles dismissed the combined campuses and colleges for a second time in the match for 203. Shamar Brooks led the batting for CCC with 59, while four of the Guyanese bowlers took two wickets each. Scores in the match, CCC, 200 and 203 all out, Guyana Harpy Eagles, 223 and 182 for two. Meanwhile, Brand Charles ripped through the Jamaica Scorpions batting lineup to lead Trinidad and Tobago Red Force to a dominating innings and won 25 run victory at Sabina Park. Charles took 7 for 43 in the Scorpions second time at bat for a match haul of 13 for 125, dismissing the home team for 118 after being forced to follow on from their first innings, 189 all out. Debutant Javon Buchanan top scored for the Scorpions with 33. So scores in that match, TNT Red Force 432, Jamaica Scorpions 189 and 118. Now let's have a quick look at some of the other games. The Windwards Volcanoes, you may remember, had been leaders going into the final round and they were up against the Leeward Hurricanes. Uh, that locked in a tight fight for victory there, heading to the final day with the Volcanoes requiring a further 308 runs to win at Stumps. The Volcanoes were 108 for one with opener Stephen Pascal. You may remember him as the West Indies under-19 captain at the South Africa under-19 World Cup earlier this year. He's not out on 60 and Johan Jeremiah on 23. Daniel Doram, who had four wickets in the first innings, is a lone wicket taker so far. Earlier on day three, the Hurricanes were dismissed for 294, batting a second time. Casey Carty leading the charge with 65 to set the Volcanoes 400 and 16 runs to win. That's an unlikely run chase, I would think. At Coolidge and Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados Pride have a 138 run lead over the West Indies Academy. The champions from two seasons ago ended day three on 228 for five, led by 90 from skipper Craig Brathwaite. And uh, that's after resuming day three. The day on 109 for three. Raymond Reefer not out on 43. Demetrius Richards 10 not out, while Joshua Bishop is the best academy bowler so far with three for 43. Bishop, of course, is the leading wicket taker in the tournament so far. Disappointment for the West Indies captain Craig Brathwaite, who didn't quite get the 100 today. He was out for 90, missing a 33rd first class 100. And we know how his appetite for scoring runs is big, Mariah. He has scored more than 100 centuries at all levels of cricket from his from his school days. And this would have been first class 100, number 33, but he didn't quite get there. Yeah, really, really unfortunate. And for me, you know, I always say when you get the start, Lance, and you capitalize on it, it must really, really hurt if you fall short of a century because these things, of course, affect your statistics, your averages and all that. And Craig Brathwaite is one of the players that has been known for getting so close to the century as much as he's been known for getting a lot of centuries. He gets so close to it and then remember in history it doesn't go down that you almost got to a century. It never goes down it's as that. that. Century, or, or, century not. or not. So <laughs> I'm saddened for the captain of course but yeah. you know I want to shift the discussion to the winners of this competition because right now Lance you know we're, we're still waiting because the competition is determined also by bonus points and bonus points are so important. You and I were even joking about the fact that it's so difficult to decide and to count the bonus points because they're awarded for different things, you yeah. know, when it comes to the runs and all that. So I look forward to see which of the teams which team walks away with that prize? Yeah, well, at the moment, the Ghanaians, uh, the Ghana Harpy Eagles would have won their game already today. So Correct. if there was a live scoring points table, the Guyana Harpy Eagles would be leading at the moment. At the top. But the other two teams, the Windwards Volcanoes and the Barbados Pride, who are ahead of them in the heading into the final round, they are still playing their matches. Uh, admittedly, the Volcanoes have a tall order, chasing over 400 to win. The Barbadians are trying to build their total in their game to set up a winning target to give themselves a, a chance of winning. But remember that the final 
round had started with uh, fourth place Leeward Hurricanes just about six points behind the lead. Correct. And, and still with a shot. So very, very close going here. <laughs> and uh, as, as I said, the Harpy Eagles have already done their job. And it's now up to the teams ahead of them, the Volcanoes and Barbados Pride, to get the results they need to overtake the Guyana Harpy Eagles. Because at the moment, the Harpy Eagles are leading on the live points table. Yeah. But oh. they are finished. The other, the, the other teams haven't finished yet. Yeah. So we have spoken about how exciting this 4-day regional competition has been, Lance. Yeah. It has um, given us a lot of um, players getting centuries. We saw a lot of five wicket hauls and I think, you know, it's a promising sign where West Indies cricket is concerned. We discussed that um, for quite some time when we discussed this. So I'm looking forward to see now who emerges as the winner. Yeah, we'll be back to put the wrap on this Friday edition of the Sportsmax Zone after this interactive, including the Sportsmax class moments in a moment. <laughs>